The killing of Kabete Member of Parliament, George Mushai, is set to top the House agenda when members troop back to town after the Christmas and New Year recess. With an official presidential I, I, I don't think Members of Parliament have expressed anger at the incident and some are demanding to have their security beefed up. Currently, each of the ordinary members is entitled to one armed bodyguard, but some feel that is not sufficient. The vetting of Joseph Boynet, the nominee for Police Inspector General, is said to be given priority as part of renewed measures by the government to address insecurity. The issue is at the center of the latest territorial contest between the National Assembly and Senate, with both houses demanding to have a say on who becomes the next top cop following the unceremonious resignation of David Kimayon. <laughs> the House will be sitting for the first time since the chaotic scenes witnessed during the passing of the Security Laws Amendment Bill. The shameful acts that day, still fresh in their minds, are likely to shape events in the coming days. <laughs> Sources within Parliament told NTV that a number of members identified as troublemakers would face disciplinary action by the Powers and Privileges Committee. Members will also consider the government's request for additional funds in the supplementary budget to be tabled soon. The bulk of the cash will go into funding the health, education and security sectors.